Hey guys, so today I want to do my first ever clean with me after dark. So it's like 5.30, already dark outside. I'm going to bring you guys along, play a little bit more soothing music than what I typically do. Let's see what I can get done before I have to put some kiddos to bed. This is probably going to include a little bit of cooking as well because I have to still make dinner. Okay, let's get to it. I'm starting off today's clean with me in the master bathroom. I wanted to just tidy the counters, had a bunch of stuff just kind of sitting in the wrong spots. And also I wanted to let you guys know I forgot it in the intro, but today I am doing my full review on that robot vacuum that I've been trying out. You've seen it in some previous clean with me videos. But I've been loving that thing and today I'm finally gonna review it and then also I'm doing a giveaway so if you have been interested in a robot vacuum a really great efficient and amazing one then make sure you stay tuned till the end for my review and all I'm gonna ask that you guys do to enter is to just leave a comment and either leave like a vacuum emoji or something specific that you'd like to be entered you can leave as many comments as you want and the comments can just be about the video so if you just want to say something that you noticed or answer a question in the video just add that little hand raising emoji or the word giveaway or vacuum and you can comment all the way through the video you can even come back on future days I'll have it open for one week and then pick a winner and Ecovax is gonna send that out to you so they provided me with a vacuum and one for my subscribers so I'm really excited to share that with you guys um, as you can see, now I'm going to go ahead and start on dinner, and I'm doing it in the Instant Pot because, like I said, I was so behind tonight, and Instant Pot makes it really fast. So I'm making kind of a Zupa Toscana knockoff, and all I did is I'm slicing some potatoes with my little KitchenAid attachment. I had browned some meat in the Instant Pot. I love that I can do it all in the one thing. And then I'm just slicing some potatoes directly into the pot, and then I'm going to put those in. I'm adding some chicken broth that I had uh, defrosting in my refrigerator. It wasn't totally done, so I just added some hot water to that. Also about half of a chopped onion, a little bit of garlic, and I just mix that up and add a little bit more water. So not quite covering it, but like almost. And then I set it for a six minute pressure cook on high pressure. After I finished that little cleanup and making my all-purpose cleaner, I needed to unload the dishwasher so that I'd have room to load everything up from cleaning and also from dinner. So this is not my normal like preferred routine with the dishwasher. I definitely love to be able to throw in dirty dishes like as the day goes along and then at night that's when I like to run it. So when it comes to nighttime and the dishwasher still hasn't been unloaded, like it just throws me off. But you know, a lot of times that can happen if Maybe we weren't really home during the day, we didn't have as many dishes, and then it just throws off the cycle. Or like, if you're going to bed and there's, it's only three quarters full, what do you guys do? If that happens, do you just run it so it doesn't screw up the routine? Or do you just wait? Or do you even have a routine? Let me know down in the comments what you do. I've learned so much from you guys when it comes to the dishwasher. Like, I've probably learned the most from my subscribers about how to use that thing right. Okay, so as you can see, my soup is now done in the Instant Pot. I did a quick release for the soup, so as soon as it was done, the timer went off. Then I just released the steam. And look how tender everything is. It's so fast. That's why I love it so much. One pot meal, and it cooks food super fast. So even though I didn't prep anything for dinner, I'm able to put it together so quickly, even in a hearty soup like this. So I just added some salt, some granulated garlic, and then some crushed red chili flakes. And then last thing is my kale. The kids do like this a little bit more cooked down, so I just kind of leave it in there all warm. And I just kind of let it sit for a bit. And then I added in some, the kids wanted bread, so I added some burger buns to the broiler, just on low. 
and the kids had put butter on those kind of a little wonky it kind of like ripped up the <laughs> bread a little bit but I did want to use those up before they went bad trying to have you know zero food waste so I wanted to use those for the bread tonight um, and then while everything was just kind of melding down in the instant pot so with that kale and the broiler was going I just went ahead and did as much dishes as I could trying to get that thing loaded and ready for the after dinner dishes got quite a few dishes done before dinner was ready which is awesome but I did want to show you guys how I kind of serve this up for myself I like to have a lot of kale and a little bit of soup with the kids it's more so you know the soup and the kale that's melted down but like I said I always save some of it just fresh I think there's something good too to get in like the raw kale and all those good raw enzymes too but it's just one of my all-time favorite like comfort food soups it's awesome so I went straight back after we ate dinner to doing the dishes and getting that all loaded up. I really wanted to get the dishwasher going. And um, oh, also I wanted to share a tip that you guys had given me that I think is really, really good. Because if you've seen some of my previous Clean With Me videos, I was like double washing all of my dishes. I would get them completely cleaned with soap and scrubbing them and water, rinsing them. Rather than thinking of my dishwasher as something to wash the dishes, I was using it like a sanitizer, which I guess is fine, but um, from the comments section, I was just realizing how much water I was wasting by doing that. And I'm not about, you know, wasting resources or money. And so I had been trying it out and testing it out to see kind of how far I could push it. And you guys, all you have to do is scrape the dishes, throw them in there. Really the only things that need more scrubbing are like silverware and I've just been letting those soak in like a hot cup of water and then I just kind of scrape them off with my sponge and then toss them in there. Or anything that's like baked on, like you'd want to pre-wash that off or scrub it off. But with that little stainless steel um, scrubby pad that I have, it gets everything off. And you just be really surprised, I think, if you've always pre-washed your dishes, try it out. And I mean, just think about how much water and how much soap you could save by doing that. Of course, I'm not saying that I now throw everything in the dishwasher. I still do um, hand wash like my pots and pans, my knives. Oh yeah, I see baby. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Kaylee just walked in here. You like those shoes? Did you bring them? Yeah, those are from Millie. Those were Millie's. We just got some hand-me-down um, clothes from Kaylee's friend Millie. And they are so cute. These little lace-up like booties, they're floral. So cute. Anyways, if you guys haven't been like using your dishwasher to its potential, I would highly recommend it. While I'm thinking about the dishwasher, one thing that I had had some questions about were the natural, like naturally marketed dishwasher detergents. And um, I use the Method Free and Clear, that's what I've got right now. I love how they work, like they work perfectly. I don't have any kind of issues with not using like a more chemical, um, like conventional strong detergent. Uh, so for me, I don't have any reason to swap over to those. Um, I like that these ones are like free and clear, no synthetic fragrance, there's no dyes. Like, I just feel more comfortable with that, especially since it's going on, you know, like the cups and things that we're going to be drinking out of and eating off of. So yeah, I just get those um, on Vitacost. They last, like I get the big bag and they last over a month, especially if we're just using it, you know, once a night. I think there was like 40 something packs in my last one. But it's the one that I showed you guys in my last grocery haul. So if you're curious, um, that's the ones that I'm using.
curious with how many of you guys noticed that I finally got pictures in the frames behind me here. <laughs> it took me so long to decide on which pictures that I wanted to get printed to put in these frames. I don't know if it's just a personal struggle, but for me, maybe because we have so many photos of the kids and I just, I never know which ones I want to commit to putting up on the wall. I have the hardest time with that. Although maybe that's just a struggle with like millennials because we're so used to everything being digital that like I haven't gotten photos printed in like, I want to say like two years other than the ones I should, I should say other than the ones that I've had printed for my great grandma because when I go see her, she always wants me to bring pictures like updated ones of the kids and the family and stuff. So other than for her, um, I haven't printed any photos just to like put in an album or I don't know most of the time when I'm doing photos like we just keep them in files on my hard drive and you know I post some on Instagram so like my favorites like the highlight reel and ones that I want to share most of that goes on my Instagram so if you want to see those and have a little sneak peek of the ones that I picked make sure you hop over to Instagram and follow and uh, my Instagram handle is naturally thrifty mom so back to my old channel name before I kind of rebranded with my name uh, it's naturally thrifty mom You guys probably saw me there with my phone and what I was doing was starting our little Ecovacs robot vacuum. Now I wanted to wait to give you guys a full review on this until I really could test it out. I think I've had it about a month and a half now, but I wanted to show you kind of some of the features and my thoughts after using it for quite a while. Um, spoiler alert, I love it. It's been amazing. You can like, it maps your house, maps the whole floor plan and you can put like a custom area. So what I have here, you can make like a little square and tell it exactly where you want it to clean. We keep ours under the couch and I can just tell it like to start and then it starts up from under the couch where it's charging and it'll go out and do all the cleaning. It's got this little dust bin in here. This is where all of the you know, debris and everything it gets goes into and then you can just dump that really quick. So I had it clean the living room floor here and then I can just dump it, put it right back in and I can start it up again. This cleans under my couches. It can literally do everywhere. Like it does hardwood floor, it does tile. It's like a little person and it has a little voice too. Like she'll talk and if you pick it up when it's on, like it was running, you pick it up, it says, I am suspended. It's so funny. But like right here, I'm showing you how you can kind of make that map again. So specifically, if I want it to clean under our dining room table, then I'll just kind of draw a little square and then I'll put it over the specific area that I want it to clean. So you can see it's got the whole map and then I can say, okay, just clean right here, go. And all I have to do before I do the robot vacuum is put up the chairs or any kind of like cords. If you had charging cords, you'd want to make sure that those were up. But compared to the robot vacuum that I bought last year, um, I actually ended up returning that one because it just, it didn't know like what it was doing. It was basically just bouncing off one wall to the next. It had no rhyme or reason. And I, it was just the worst thing ever. And it was a few hundred dollars and it, ah, I ended up returning it because it was just, there was no point. This thing, it gets every nook and cranny. It knows exactly where it's at. It'll slowly go around like chair legs. Like I said, it does under the furniture. It picks up an amazing amount of dust and dirt, like more than you even thought was there. Every time it fills the dust bin, which is so crazy because I do it so often, but it gets those areas that I couldn't reach otherwise. So I've been really impressed with it, better than any robot vacuum that I've ever seen. So I would recommend this one specifically. I like that it also that it uses an app so I can be in bed and be like, oh, I forgot to vacuum or I forgot to start the vacuum. And from my phone, I can tell it to start and it just goes out from the charging dock under the couch and cleans the entire downstairs. I love that. And you can move it from one room to another. So I can have it upstairs or downstairs or in our little like piano room area. You can just move it wherever you need it to clean and it just does it. Um, I will say when you compare it to like a Dyson, you know, that really in depth like suction and it's getting, you know, really sucking onto the carpet. It's not that type of cleaner, but if you're looking for something to clean an entire space and get all of those little crumbs or random things that your kids drop or you know have on the carpet or under the couches that's exactly what it's good for and it leaves those beautiful like freshly cleaned carpet lines that I love it uses the app it can even clean in the dark while I'm asleep or not at home <sighs> okay enough about the vacuum you know that I really like it <laughs> 
Um, also tonight I wanted to clean my stainless steel appliances. So I did the refrigerator, freezer, and then also my dishwasher. Those are things that I neglect cleaning because I know they're gonna get fingerprinted, but eventually it just gets so overwhelming and obnoxious that I have to go ahead and clean them. Um, but the cleaner that I'm using, it's a stainless steel cleaner. It's a specific one for that. And I like that it doesn't have petroleum. That's one thing that I'm pretty picky about with cleaners. I actually use this also on my granite. Like after I've got it and all scrubbed down and cleaned, I'll spray just a little bit of this. And it, I feel like it helps it not to be um, quickly fingerprinted, especially with my black granite. It shows fingerprints like immediately, but I like that I can just spray a little bit of this on and kind of buff it and it gives it that like really nice shine and it kind of keeps the fingerprints away. You wouldn't want to use it on the floor because it would make it like slick, but as far as like how it looks, it's, it's awesome. And of course, how to light a candle, you know, got to get the ambiance. <laughs> The last thing I had for my after dark cleaning routine is actually kind of to set up something for tomorrow morning, something that I've been wanting to try and I'm kind of testing the waters with getting up earlier. I want to get up like really early. That's kind of a goal that I have for the new year. Um, I almost hate saying that just because I'm afraid that I'm not going to succeed with it, but what I wanted to do was set up a cozy little area that I can have for tomorrow, motivation to get up early. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the clean with me. Let me know if you like this style with kind of the more relaxing music and the whole nighttime atmosphere. Let me know if you liked it by leaving a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when my new videos go up. Also, got a whole cleaning playlist for you so don't forget to check in the description and you can keep on watching. All right guys, I will see you soon.